Hey, hello, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to teach you about Jupiter in the first house of D9 Navam start. So, before beginning, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and click the like button. And if you have any doubt after watching this video, please do mention that in my below comment section, okay? So, let's begin. So, mainly, what do you mean by the Navamsa chart or the D9 chart? See, Navamsa chart or the D9 chart is the second most important chart after your birth chart, okay? Navamsa chart or D9 chart represents your relationship between you and your spouse, okay? It shows your married life, mainly it shows your relationship between you and your wife. It shows your second half of your life, that is after your second half of your life, how it will be. It shows, it also shows your spouse, that means your uh, characteristics of your spouse and her attitude and is her, her attitude and everything, okay. So, mainly, so let's say it's also seen for strengthness of the planet. It's also seen for your fortune, your dharma what will be your dharma after your married life and it also shows your fortune uh, how it is, how it is uh, if your fortune will rise after your married life or not so these kind of things it is seen for norms chart or the d9 chart okay now what do you mean by first uh, strengthness of your planet see mainly if any planet is deviated in your birth chart so and that planet is exalted in your now warm chart or d9 chart that shows that that planet has gained some extra strength so let's take for example if sun is deviated in your birth chart or D1 chart and that planet sun has been exalted in your Navam chart or D9 chart that shows that that planet sun uh, you gained some extra strength okay so now every uh, chart that is the it can be the divisional chart or even the main birth chart has its own the significant planet that is the Karaka planet okay so let's say for example in the birth chart or d1 chart sun is the significant planet that is the karaka planet so if sun is very very well placed in your birth chart or the d1 chart that represent that it will give very good wonderful uh, spiritual life or even it can give very good beautiful life also okay now coming to uh, the for d9 chart or the norms chart if venus is very well placed in your d9 chart or in your norms chart that is if venus is placed in the uh, exalted sign uh, Mool Trikon sign, own sign or in friendly sign that is in the Kendras or the Trikonas that is Kendras means the 14710 or the Trikonas means 159 uh, that represent you will have a very good married life or your second half of your life will be very good okay so these are the things the now start is mainly seen for okay and now coming to the first house now what is what is first house in the norm start see first house in the norm start represents after how will be your second half of your life okay and it also represent how will be your married life alpha and it also represent your spouse how will be your spouse okay and how what are her characteristics and attitude towards you okay how public will see you see your spouse so that represents your first house okay now when oh, what what represent planet jupiter now coming to planet jupiter uh, what does it represents it represents it's a in very intelligent planet okay it is also the planet of wisdom knowledge and everything okay it also a planet of uh, finance okay which represent financial planet and money giving planet also now when planet jupiter comes in the first house of d9 norm start that represents you will be very intelligent person who knows how to handle the uh, if any kind of uh, problems uh, that comes in the married life you will be very intelligent person who knows how to handle the situation if any problems comes in the married life okay it also shows that is a very intelligent person who knows how to deal with one spouse okay that means that if a person having uh, jupiter in the ascendant in the normum chart that represent the person will be very intelligent and knows how to deal with his spouse okay it can be any spouse uh, so it, at any situation he knows how to deal say deals with it that is deals with the spouse okay so that represents jupiter in the first house now it shows that mainly the main factor is that it also shows the confirmation of the marriage particularly that is it shows the promising of the marriage okay no matter whatever the planet may be placed in the seventh house that is it can be deviated planet like saturn is deviated in the seventh house or even sun deviated in the seventh house or even Rao or Ketu sitting in the 7th house, it doesn't matter. But 
Jupiter uh, actually confirms don't worry that uh, Jupiter will take care of you and it comes on confirms the marriage okay because Jupiter aspects the seventh house through its seventh aspect which represents marriage confirmation of the marriage and everything okay which gives a person the long lasting marriage or long lasting relationship okay during the Mahadasa or Antadasa of Jupiter his marriage is confirmed so we can note down the timings of the marriage also now coming to Jupiter's fifth aspect will be to the fifth house which represent uh, fifth house is the house of intelligence Jupiter is also intelligent planet which represents the person is very good at uh, uh, may, uh, very good at like uh, dealing with his children and all is very intelligent at that uh, part of his life also so these kind of things uh, Jupiter aspect in the fifth house represent and it aspects ninth aspect to the ninth house which represents uh, is Bhagyaday will rise, his fortune will rise after his married life or after second half of his life, okay. Now, let's say for example, if Jupiter is debilitated in the first house, now what it represent? It represented, it doesn't mean that it will give very late marriage or it doesn't mean that no marriage. It represents that the person will be very intelligent in business areas, okay. He will be very good at business things, managing business and all, everything. Okay, you'll be very good business person, business minded person who will be very good at money money making wherever he goes. Okay, because oh, oh, see, uh, Jupiter gets debilitated in the Capricorn zodiac sign, where Capricorn zodiac sign is the zodiac sign which represents business, which represents practicality, reality. Okay, so business means it's everything about reality and all. So that represents uh, Jupiter in that uh, Capricorn zodiac sign represents person will be a business minded person. Okay. Now coming to the, what are the different uh, conjunction of planet uh, when conjunctured with Jupiter in the first house represents. Now when Jupiter is conjunctured with benefic planet like Moon, Mercury or Venus, okay. See uh, when Jupiter is conjunctured with Moon that represents that you, uh, you will be very intelligent person and you will get very good name and friend in the society after your second half of your life wherever you go. Because Moon and Jupiter which creates a very good Raj Yoga, powerful Raj Yoga known as Gajakesari Raj Yoga. Okay, which I'll explain and make a separate video on that also. Now when Jupiter is connected with Moon, okay, it represents that uh, your spouse may be very intelligent also. Okay. Even though you may be very intelligent also, your spouse may be, will be also very intelligent and she will be very taking care of you, okay, at any time, so, okay, she will be very good at taking care of you and all. Now, when coming to, when Jupiter is conjected with uh, the planet Venus, that represents that uh, you, you, you will be uh, interested towards uh, uh, in money making only, okay, you will be very interested uh, in getting desire, your desires will be about money making, materialistic things only, about only gains and everything. Because Venus represents, Venus is the planet of luxuries, Venus is the planet of uh, which represents materialistic things and all materialistic world, where your, uh, your uh, soul will be desiring only about materialistic things and materialistic world, okay, to getting to gains and all. Now, coming to when Jupiter is conjected with planet mercury that represent you will be very good businessman after your second half of your life and you will be very intellectual person you will be very educated person too e even though if you are not educated uh, there will be uh, some talent which will hidden with you okay so these kind of things you can expect it now when uh, jupiter is conjunct with malefic planets such as uh, mars uh, saturn rahu ketu and sun that represent there will be some, uh, even though there will be some problems showing in the north star, but Jupiter will protect uh, in wherever, in whichever the area there will be problem, Jupiter protects you and it uh, gives you very good married life, okay, it shows very good married life, even though if any planet is situated, Ju Jupiter, any malefic planet is Jupiter, uh, especially like Saturn, Rahu or Ketu, it protects that, okay. Uh, it actually uh, reduces the ill effects of the negative planets or uh, planets, malefic planets and it gives Jupiter gives you very good results during its Mahadasa or Antardasa of Jupiter. Okay, that is the uh, Jupiter is a very uh, benefic planet. Okay, for any ascendant. Okay, but Libra and Taurus, it's if it will be functional malefic that I'll explain you later. So these are the things when Jupiter is conjunctured with benefic planet represents. So coming to malefic, so when it is conjunctured with uh, Sun, so it represents that uh, you, uh, society will look you 
after your second half of your life the society will look towards you as a very good prominent leader okay even though if you are not leader society will look you that you can be hey you can be even very good leader so like this type of thing society will look towards you because sun represent leadership and everything jupiter gets uh, uh, very good uh, friendship with the sun okay jupiter is very friendly towards the sun uh, it may be temporary uh, Uh, what it uh, it may be temporary enemy but still jupiter is a friendship of friend friend of sun okay which represent very good leadership very good educated person and all okay and it also represent you will get a spouse who is very good uh, at uh, taking responsibility on particular things and all now coming to when jupiter is conjunct with mars that represent that you will get a spouse who is very aggressive and also very educated very uh, very good at money making and all so this kind of things will get a spouse and you may be very good energetic person and also this kind of things it represents okay so you may be very dynamic and all after your second half of your life so you may be very good at a marriage so you'll be having very good energy at a time of your marriage and all so these kind of things jupiter and um, mars when conjunct to each other represents now when uh, jupiter is conjunct with rahu that represent that you will be your soul will be desiring only about name fame materialistic things and all and uh, it doesn't uh, it will give some problem in spiritual things attaining spiritual things and all but still it will give spiritual uh, enlightenment if you want to go towards spiritual uh, life and all, and all okay now when jupiter is conjunct with ketu that represents uh, there is some kind of spiritual energy that is hidden in you where you want to take it out and show it to the world so these kind of things it shows when jupiter is conjunct with ketu and it also represent that it protects the marriage okay if there are any problems going on in the marriage it also protects that okay and if any uh, detachment or any separation uh, happens with you and your spouse after some times the jupiter planet uh, will help you in protecting this okay in some way or the other now when these are the things that uh, happens when jupiter is conjunct with connected conjunct with uh different types of planets so these are the details it will give this is it today guys so if you are new to my channel please subscribe below hit the bell icon and click the like button and if you have any doubt of watching this video please to mention it in my below comment section or else i'll see you in the next video so thank you bye bye love you take care